Good afternoon, it's the Crafty Nana, um, and I'm continuing with my bugs. chosen this fabulous paper look at that so stunning I've just put glue stick on there just gonna slide this down and push it flat such a gorgeous piece but for on such a gorgeous piece you need quite a strong bug because obviously this is going to just wipe out anything too delicate and so on. so what I thought we would do is we go for the full-on stag beetle this is where I got the idea from and this is a longer shape you'll notice so I think I'm going to make him have the longer really impressive um, horns might beef him up a bit as well but this is just fun okay um, and I also might go for this lovely um, petrol bluey color so um, I've got some amazing um, bluey colored um, eyeshadow that will give us exactly that sort of uh, metallic beetle colour that I'm looking for. Um, okay, just take that. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. My favourite eyeshadow. Okay, so that's what this one's going to be. Um, he's got a dark blue frame, and again, we might try and marble it with that sort of same purpley, petroly sort of colours on it. Um, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to achieve that. Might be just that I go with these colours. Um, we'll see how that one goes, uh, but it's always worth a try. All right, and our other bug is still there drying away, doing his funky thing. So I have put the spray paint into the water, I've dipped the frame, and now the frame is going to dry. You cannot see what you've got until it dries anyway, so we're going to let it just sit there and dry. And as I said, we probably add some pigment onto that just to match it up to the color that we're going to use on the bug. Before I can spray paint the frame, I had to cover the glass because the glass is glued in well and truly, um, and there's no way I was going to get that out. So um, I have masked off the glass uh, before I can marble the frame. So let's get that done. So we have cut off his mandibles we have hot glued craft wire onto him we're now going to build him up some incredible big chunky mandibles that's still going to fit onto the the backing but make him so much hunkier so that's our next job i put a good coating of hot glue all the way around the back to hold it in position um, because I can twist the, the wire whichever shape I want it once it's dry but I need it to dry first as so unfortunately a lot of these it's a time when you're waiting and waiting and waiting there's not a lot we can do about that now I want to make sure this is out of the way because I don't want to get hot glue on it at this point so we'll just move that um, A head shark sort of shape, I think. Mm. I don't know, it's going to just thinking about making his thoracic area a bit larger but I'm not sure I actually need to I think the point is to have the big horns on him I think he's looking really quite cool okay so now we're back to the same situation again we need to let it dry before we can paint it and uh, get it looking wonderful I think we've got a nice shape here because you're going to put some little eye beads in there um I think we could just put Let's see what I've got 
going around in here. Okay. So now this bug and this bug can sit next to each other and dry. Keep each other company. Um, put those away. have a go at now he's all dry and ready for some painting and decorating here we go okay so I've used a little um, little sanding device just to take off some of the rough bits very delicately just giving it a little buzz um, and now we're going to use acrylic because obviously we're covering this clay. The clay is um, fairly foamy once it dries, but these are not going to be played with or touched. They're going to be under glass, so it's not really the end of the world if they're not rock solid. As you can see, it doesn't take a lot to get it looking quite coolio coolio. I shaped up his carapace on his head a little bit larger because um, to carry these larger sized mandibles I felt he needed the bigger head. I don't want to cover his eyes because I put, purposely put like a blue iridescent eye in there which is the colour that we're going to highlight him with. Oh yeah, he's looking good. Good and funky. Getting these spikes with foam, was, with, with air dry clay, was actually quite difficult, but we did it. And they look good, and that's what matters. Once we get the black on, we'll quickly just let it dry, and then we can then put the shiny coat of his iridescent colours um, on. I'm not going to sit and watch, make you watch paint dry, so I will come back to you once we are dry and ready to go for the next coat, because this coat is all black, so it's a bit boring. But uh, these beetles are so majestic, and you won't get the effect without that lovely glossy blackness. I'm just coating him with this iridescent powder. Now I don't know if you can see this because it's it's, um, it's all dependent on the light. Let's see if I can move him for you so you get the glow. I haven't taken it right down to the tips of his um, claws because those are a bit shiny and it won't stick. I'm now going to quickly give it a coat of clear acrylic so that that all sort of sticks to the bug sticks to him so I need clear acrylic you don't want so much that it's going to um, make it all liquefied and fall off you just want enough to coat it Okay. hopefully that will come back up as it dries if not I might have to put another little coat on top but so we can leave him to dry now now the question is does he look better with the paler behind the horns or does he look better with more pattern I think it's the paler I think it's this way up okay so that will be that way up and then the frame do, 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 do. I think we'll go this way okay stuck down nicely shouldn't come off put him with his antlers at the top where it's planar so that this wonderful cells here show up nicely and now we'll get him into his frame so this is all glued down now. Um, I'm, I'm on my last hot glue gun. The last one went bang.
bang yesterday and frightened the living daylights out of me. There we go. There's our finished bug. I love him. I love him. I wish I could keep all of these, but I haven't got room. But I do love him. 